Oh, we're back with Brody's Got the Zoomies again. So, if you said, what are you going to do? I'm going to get in on that. And I'll run back down there in a minute. So, we don't want to laugh when they do Zoomies. <laughs> I know that's the thing that people do, but that makes them do it more. And if you said, what's... They're just not paying any attention when they're doing it. And it is sort of a... Yeah, it's like a... It's a social mechanism, basically. Kind of saying, look how fast I can go. <laughs> can't catch me so if they do that to you they're saying that's what they're saying look how fast I can go you can't catch me if you said when 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 else would that happen eh. you're driving down the road with your big v8 and some little hybrid is at the light revving you up <laughs> that's when you say look how fast I can go yeah. oh my god Jessica he was doing the wagon on his own oh my god he was rolling himself in the wagon let me see if I can Evaluated him, Jessica. He has no skill whatsoever in that area, so I'm sorry. We're going to have to drop the wagon program real quick. <laughs> so, hi, Mandy. Yeah, that's Parker's problem. His his permanence of habit is you fight hard enough, you can get through. That that's once you believe that nothing can stop you. That's the problem. That's the problem. Once you believe. The only option you're presented with is fighting through that option. That's what you're going to do. He was never presented with any other option other than don't do it. Don't, I mean, I don't know you understand that. No, I don't want you to kick yourself about it, but that's the reality. That's the behaviorist viewpoint. The dog's option was presented to him as there is something in front of you, and I'm going to fight you, just like when we do tug of war. And you're going to fight me, and the stronger one of us will win. The problem is he's always the stronger one. So, and you said, what can you do in those cases? You work on circumventing and running damage control. And it is a process. Anyway, so what I've got is a little puppy that, you know, he hasn't... He was kind of jumping around, going after Molly and things like that. But I'm looking for, again, my... He's, he's really trying to wait to see what I'm going to do. If I sit down... And this is what we need to show the kids, Jessica. Sit down, fold your hands up like this. We just took, I know the kids are older, but you just put up your shield. And then if you said, what, what's the opposite? As soon as you do that, if you said, I want him to kind of like jump at me and do potty paw, patty paws. Oh, that'll take two seconds. That Larry Crone video, this people shipped this great Dane in, Jessica. Oh, this guy's my arch enemy. I'm going to show you the video. Oh, don't use the pager. And he trains him for two weeks, the hobby trainer. The video of this great Dane, well, you know, Izzy and Sonar don't have much. Was it playing tug of war? Who sends a dog on a plane to play tug of war with somebody and pays who knows how much this guy charges? Oh, $4,000 a week. Oh, he is world renowned after all. Anyway, this dog, what he's got is his little behavior bank is beginning to be filled up with this behavior. So our, our ability to elicit the behavior is becoming very strong. <laughs> so if you said, well, I want him to start jumping up, you, you probably could. I think you can see how things work. I never told him to lay down. I never said anything about I never said the word down once. So I've got my pager. He's kind of behind here. I, I want it to mean hopefully Skylar will come wandering back over. But, you know, he's just now he's kind of mingling around. He doesn't know what to do. His behavior bank is empty. <laughs> it's empty. So I fill it in. with. It's just like with kids, Jess. We don't just sit there and say, oh, hours of free time. Do whatever you want. No, we got structured free time. You know, we... Just, you know, I'm sure the boys aren't just shoving them, each other all over the house all day. I mean, there's just no way. You're structuring things. No, he's, it's just going to work out perfect. He's just your first time. We're going to get him. Uh, we'll, have, we'll have him under control. It'll get the rest of them in line, too, Jess. They'll see. Mom's running him like Rommel. 
but his behavior bank is being filled. If he was trying to bite at me and I was correcting him, his plan would not be stop biting. His plan was be, I'm going to take it up a notch. I'm going to have to take it up a notch. All right, so I want to be able to move him with this pager, though. And he doesn't, oh, be careful. He's, he's not really even conscious of it at this point. I want you to watch those videos, though, where, and that one I just posted, they're very interesting. If you said, oh, you just have an advantage because you videotaped everything and you've learned a lot from that, yeah, and so can you. <laughs> you know, you're not able to see everything when it's going on, but you can watch those videos where I'm doing a recall, and that one was the deaf dog. They fell like dominoes because they're kind of operating around open for suggestion. Once there's a suggestion, they go with it. You know, you have to be careful what suggestions you do. But all they have to see is the dog going. They don't even know where it's going. They're not asking, where are you going? Hey, wait a minute. Where are you going? All right, here comes Scarlet wandering back. They're just going. So that's what I'm, my premise is. All right, look, he's going to, hopefully he sees Skylar and starts with his. But he keeps a pretty close eye on me. Yay. Yay. You could have a platform. You can have a platform that, oh, maybe they'll have that one day. It'll say, yay, yay. They actually, oh, this will be 3,000 years from now, but, okay, he's going around the corner. They'll have actually gotten my voice. Uh, it would be very easy to take all my videos and duplicate my voice to make me say anything. I've said every word. Yay. You got the thing from that light. Oh, my God, you little angel. Oh, yeah, they got my solar light and broke it. You said who? I don't know. One of them. But he went and got it. Just brought it to me. <sighs> he saw a problem immediately. He saw a trash and he immediately picked it up. All right. So all I've got to do is... Brody! I don't know if you could see him, but if you said how fast did he come? Real fast. Real fast. He doesn't, he doesn't, okay, here comes Skylar. All right, he's gonna, oh, remember, this is his, this would, Skylar's the replacement for his little stuffed dog at the house that's hopefully at the landfill by now, Jessica. All uh, right, here he comes. Oh, he's bumping into the slide. No, he's under the slide, he doesn't know where to, all right, so he's laying down by me, but he's gonna probably see Skylar coming into his field of vision. Brody! Why wouldn't it? Why wouldn't it see the dog? You know what I mean? Why wouldn't it? All right now he's got the stick. Now he's doing the zoomies. Brody! So that's how I dealt with that, Jessica. Is, and I don't really want the stick. So I, all right, watch. Brody! If he said he's not laying it down, yes, he is. He's laying it down. This is as fast as he can go. He could probably go a little bit faster, but he's going fast. He's going very, very fast. So he's over there now. Jump on the nose. Brody! Brody! So I'm able to manipulate him around, Jessica, without him really even realizing that's what I'm doing. He's understands that I am that dog with the ideas. One dog goes, they all go. So, and if you said, well, that makes you the elephant. No. Whichever one goes first is the leader. That's what I figured out. Whoever's physically ahead is the leader, <laughs> you know. So if you've got a lot of direction change and stuff like that, if you said no, I just stand still like a tree, like that guy in the Danny Wills video, and I have my hand in my pocket, and I hold the dog, and it, ah, 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 ah. come on, please. Such 
So if you said you didn't get rid of the jumping, I know, I didn't get rid of the jumping, but I gave it another avenue. And that's what I want you to think of, girl. If the boys are out in the backyard kicking around a can, you don't say, never kick a can again. You say, ah, oh, soccer. <laughs> soccer or lacrosse or whatever it is they do nowadays. And be good at it, boys. Full ride scholarships. Your dad and I will be up on board for that. So, you know, we're not going to take that away from them. All dogs love to jump. You said, how do you know that? Well, people say, oh, it gets excited and jumps around. Well, that sounds like it's what it does when it's happy. Oh, no, I'm, I'm over the moon with this puppy. This, And I want you guys, you know, if you go out of town, the next year, like if you, I know it's kind of a far drive for you too, girl, but if you went on a two-week vacation or something, you know, he needs to get the advanced. We need to tell your husband. The only possible dog that's going to be good for our family holds a PhD from this particular academy. <laughs> and, and we, what's the name of it? We'll think of something. <laughs> the Proper Pup Academy. <laughs> he holds a PhD. All right, so he's over there chewing on a stick. God forbid it's something we don't want. We don't want to move on the dog. If you said, well, you can't do it. Y'all can't. Cody. So from here, I know I can get him. So that was very seamless, girl. I got too many sticks in my thing today. All he sees. <laughs> and, and you're not going to have to do it. That's why you're going to have the page or girl. That's going to help you. And if you said, I can only really work at it about, honestly, if people said I can only work it at about 60% of what you're able to do. Oh, you'd be so good. And you'd be way ahead of all these supposable trainers. If you could work at a 60% level of what Kelly was getting. If you said, well, compare your driving skills to a NASCAR. Mm, I'm about in about a half a percent range. <laughs> so there you go. You're operating a 60% range. All right, so look, there's Skyler. Let's just see if he's got any. He's waiting though for, He's only got, they've only got so many behavior. Uh-oh. Oh, well. his default to stay on there. If you said, why does he stay there like that if I don't call him? He wants to stay. He's like, he's like the boys. Oh no, he's, he's the perfect boy. I mean, he wants to stay outside and play. I left him out here all day. If you said, well, what, what could he find to do? What could he find to do? 5,000 more of these. So, you know, if we start trying to take everything away from him, if you said, what happens then? Now they start setting up defenses. All right, so now he's over there chewing on the stick. So he banded that stick for that stick. Yay! And he's got the little jump, so he's able to. You know, we don't quash that in the dog. I want a dog that's never excited, that never runs, that never jumps. All right, so he's over there finding more sticks. All right. Uh-uh, no way. <laughs> if you said, where, as soon as I said Brody, he was right there. How is that impossible? <laughs> oh, you save this, you have a stick collection. Yeah, you may be able to get wire, form it into artwork. Who knows? Sell it as tacos art, tacos beach art. Like that guy, Sun Art Artie, that hangs around. You've probably seen him down at the beach. And yeah, he's creepy and crazy. 
He put an ad on Facebook looking for a woman with a car in a bank account. You can find me at the 27th Street Beach Approach. That's where he lives. Uh, yeah. And he, you can take him out on a date, and he's not going to charge you. I unfriended the guy immediately. I was like, oh my God, what a lunatic. Yeah, you would actually be able to date this insane homeless lunatic. And he's not even going to charge you. All right, so. He said, where's he? He's over there pooping, so they always take off money after pooping. You've got to time it just right, though. If you said I have any, no, I have no, the dog has never run at me organically come running at me real fast. I said, then the behavior doesn't exist. If what it's done is come at you and you've corrected it for jumping on you, the chances of it being far away and running to when you call it are almost slim to none. If you said, rather slim to none. All right, so I can get him to travel to this other platform. Ready? So why don't you get the little platform for your house, girl? And the boys are going to be able to train him. It's going to be the funnest dog ever. <laughs> he jumps, but then he lays down. I've never had one do that. All right, let me get the dumbbells. Let me do just a little Halloween. Oh, it's a Halloween thing. Kind of threw him up there. What well, we have to say to ourselves, as much as this dog, this dog's baseline behavior is picking things up. So if what we decided to do was pick and choose what we want him to pick up and say no about this, that we're in trouble. You're in trouble. These things love to retreat. So at this point, what he understands is go back as fast as you can. And that's that's half of your recall right there. The other half is don't go any farther forward. But if you said all you're doing is going from point A to point, yes, I'm going from point A to point B. Science, speaking from the scientist's viewpoint, from the physicist's viewpoint, that's going to be the fastest way to get there. Not go, come on, boy. Come on, Brody. Come on, Brody. Brody. Oh, it did work, but <laughs> it's not going to keep working. <laughs> I said, yeah, no, that's these people's technique. And they don't move at all. And if the dog's like, then they can. It's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> How much behavior have you studied if that's what you've got? All right, look, so I've got actually the giant dumbbell in here. I think you can get it, though. An outlet. These are just sticks as far as he's concerned. He's going to deliver to this exact corner. If you set this up at your house, Jessica, he's going to do it too. Right, that one's kind of big, but I think he can do it. Everything, you want your behaviors to be very, very clean. They have a very specific beginning. They have a very specific end. They're not convoluted by a bunch of petting and jerking and corrections and no's and... It, 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 yeah. 
It's like if you're trying to do something, someone keeps interrupting you. It's like, please just let me do it. You're not showing me how to do it if you just, you know. I don't even know any more analogies to say. So I'm just going to look at it. Yeah, and I totally suggest you put his water outside. But that's how he drinks. That's his normal drink. Brody! So if you said, what did you do? And this is what you guys need to do at home. I took advantage of it. He saw a bug or something. Whatever he saw, his impulse, and he saw it. You could see it. You could see it so easily. Whatever he saw, he was getting ready to chase. So if you said, well, then he just, his body was in sort of a certain physiological place. Yes, impulse is ready to go. When you, I'm just interjecting the page. Into the, it's, we need somebody way smarter than me to understand this on a deeper level. I'm only basing what I see on the results, but you're tapping into something physiological. And you're using it to your advantage as opposed to your disadvantage. It was no, 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 you come, you come, no, no. Oh, come on. Yeah, I know he's going to the same place. Yeah. And he's very and these are good. I'm going to tell you why these are good. You can't. I'm not grabbing at it at all. When I'm accepting it, I'm just... Yeah, he's absolutely perfect. He's absolutely perfect. All right, well, that was his Sunday fun day. So he's, he said, no one else is going to be able to, anybody else is going to be able to get the dog to do these things. And that's what your job is as a trainer. Now I'll get it and I'll do corrections. And now this stupid dog has learned. I, the world's greatest corrector, have corrected it. <laughs> it doesn't, that's what their thought process is, is get the prong collar. Oh, Brody would have had a prong on for sure. Getting corrected for his biting. And it's corrections. There's no possible way the owner has inadvertently caused this behavior. It's the dog. We have dogs all and how people raise them. All right, so his, his baseline behavior is just kind of laying over there playing, chewing with the stick. He's not hurting anybody. But I'm saying to myself, like, I don't know, if they get a dead mole or something, it does happen in Florida a lot. And if you said, well, when it rains, these moles start coming up to the top, and now well, they're easy prey. Brody. So he's basically Johnny on the spot. He's got the down. It's very already becoming very, very permanent. And if he said why, because they're so malleable. He's, I could just as easily have him doing a lot of other things like playing tug of war, chasing me, chasing kids. Oh, I could hire Demetrius from next door to, okay, run, get him to chase you, scream. Oh, he's getting close, scream, run faster. <laughs> Any of them would be an expert at chasing kids, and a lot of them are. You know, Randy was setting that up, letting the neighbor kids come over and let this puppy chase them around. The yeah, kids do like to do that until it catches them. Anyway, guys, I'll be right back. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I do interject a lot of my... Yay! If it is something you don't want them to get, though, you're better off to go that route. If you said, why, well, that... That was a lot quicker than... Just saying no all the time. It's just, it's just ridiculous. And if you said, what was that? If that was a dead bull, then you scream, Jessica, and call for your husband and the boys. That's their job. They're the ones who wanted a dog. <laughs> Be right back.